Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. Welcome to the Matthew channel. Yeah, so thank you for coming to part two of uh, five of the videos that we're doing. The first video was quality time. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to talk about physical touch. So, how to communicate physical touch? Imagine the cinema. <laughs> yeah, how to communicate physical touch. So basically physical touch is non-verbal body damage. Mm -hmm. So it's all about being intimate at the right times, at Touch, the right places. Physical love, yeah. care, yeah, showing that all that all that affection. Mm. It's it's like um is it it's even like little things that make the difference. So even with like family, I'm not talking about like marriage relationships or anything like that, but I mean when I used to do go karting when I was younger, before every race I done I used to go to my mum and just touch her on the shoulder. And oh, did you? Like, yeah, yeah. You never told me. That's so cute. But it's like always like I don't know. It's like a respect thing or like thank you or whatever. I used to touch her so I wanna go like this. Nice. I used to go like that. And if I if I'm about to go off, she's like, you haven't done your thing, and do that. But it's like little things like that. It's like it's we just done that. It's like a routine thing, and it felt weird if we didn't do that. It's kind of like a different type of love we had. Uh, what we still have but I think we should talk about our differences of like physical touch in terms of growing up mm. because I feel like for, so for me like like for me and my family we're used to a lot of hugging a lot of touching like mm. I I couldn't go a day without touching my mum like and I mean I've been snugging in her neck hugging yeah. like my sister I'm very close to my sister so I was like like sometimes a bit embarrassing but sometimes I pick her up but like, I know she's a big woman now but like I just like to I just like to be caring and affectionate. Even like Lee could be here during the day and I just go to him and just touch his cheeks or like cuddle with him and like his neck and he's just like, oh what are you doing? Like but growing up that's how I've been like conditioned to be. And when I first met Lee Well let's just justify that. When she does that it's not like I'm going like She's treating me like a baby. She's like, come here, come on, you okay? Oh. Like, obviously, I'm gonna push you away, don't. Yeah, well, yeah. that's sometimes. But, like, so in terms of Lee and I, like, we were brought up different because, like, when I first met Lee and his mum as well, like, they weren't as huggy as I was. They mm. still hugged me, but, like, that's not their go to. That wasn't their go to. But I feel like you've changed now. Yeah, like, like when I first went to church, it's like when everyone greeted everyone. And you know, with French people, it's like they do like a kiss, and or or like um, with like African cultures, they they bow and like do like like that, and some out of some. yeah, some some tribes, out of respect. Um, it's like I didn't understand when we, when we went to church and everyone's like hugging each other as a greeting. I'm like, I kind of don't really know you, but I kind of do. But I'm hugging you type of thing. I didn't really understand why am I doing that, mm. but it's it's just the way it is and yeah it's like me and my mum had to like well especially me i had to like learn to, yeah, to open to on those sides mm -hmm. yeah so yeah I, yeah there's differences but like now that we're married and even before that like as lee like stayed with us in terms of like at church and stuff like that and you know grew up alongside us um in his teenage years um yeah, he became more affectionate in that way, which is lovely to see. And mm. it, it's fa it's good in our marriage as well because it's not like if I go and hug him, it's not like we do. Like, mm. you know, so. Physical touch is like really important, and even when you have children as well, that's mm. another big element that you have to focus on and make sure you get that right. Because if you're not, love, yeah, if you're not it? picking them up, if you're not showing love, if you if they're crying, you're not attending. You just like stay there, like yeah. it's not gonna work. I feel like so, when we talk about physical touch, I feel like we need to talk about the actions to take. So yeah. there's many different actions. So that's whether it be hugging, cuddling, embracing. It could be the touch of holding hands, like holding hands. It could be little things like that. Like it could be, I don't know, kissing. Yeah. Intimacy, of course, in a, in a, in a marriage context. Make sure like we're not, you know, putting that off or you're, you're just not showing you need to show your spouse physical love it? or so, like not starving each other yeah massages like, affection like just yeah. make your spouse feel loved and you know yeah i'm here she I'm keep calling me a teddy, teddy bear i don't know yeah, why <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so things to avoid yeah is neglecting yeah. physical touch drop kicking your partner when she gets on your nerves <laughs> 
he doesn't care. <laughs> neglecting physical love. Like, even in the Bible, you shouldn't be in, like, neglecting each other off, mm. like, intimacy as well. But also a thing to remember, and this is what spouses need to remember. There are times to touch and there's times not to touch. Sometimes I might be hot, like, yeah, during the day. Like, I do that on purpose. I get hot and leave my go, oh, hello, hello. And I'm like, no, I don't, can you stop touching me now? Yeah. Like, husband, do not, thing, if like, your wife is hot, like, don't be coming up in her face, like, you know I, mean? I think that links to our the first video we've done so if you haven't seen it go back to our first video which is quality time mm. so we were talking about personal space balancing the time yeah so that is really important mm -hmm. yeah and you know just do different things that make you you know that you both like if if, if lee likes to be touched in terms of if he loves cuddles give him i'll give him cuddles throughout the day if i like to be cared for like stroked on the cheek or something like just do different stuff like that but just don't do it in ac ac what's the word excess a session i don't know excess yeah don't don't yeah. go overboard if that's not what they like like mm. just do all things in, in, in moderation. It could be like any part of the day, like when you come yeah. home from work, kiss. Oh, a nice right, cuddle darling. or kiss, but you know. Like, yeah. Mm. Also, other things are like, you know, abusing your partner, forcing your partner to do things that they don't want to do. That's not an act of love. You don't do those type of things. Mm. How on earth is that loving your spouse? Mm. Um, also, not respecting their boundaries. If your spouse does not like to be touched in, you know, specific areas or you know, might feel rubbing the arm is irritating. Like, just be mindful of that. It doesn't mean you can't show love and um, physical touch in other ways. Just be mindful of what your um, spouse likes or doesn't like. So, mm. yeah. And you always have to communicate this with yeah. your partner. So don't just assume or think they can read your mind if you don't want to be touched in a certain place mm -hmm. or you don't want to be in a certain time in the morning or yeah. evening, like, like, yeah you just have to really communicate be transparent and yeah make sure you communicate and set time aside and really understand how your partner um basically feels loved yeah that links in with intimacy as well like if your partner doesn't like to be intimate in the morning and you're just like waking them up and go babe i want, I want to be intimate now like that's not how, how is that showing love you need to as you said communicate be and, understandable yeah. yeah and and you know make time and yeah watching this video um make sure you subscribe like and comment make, make sure you sure. hit that notification bell yes um so we're going to go on to the third video which will be acts of service so it'll be acts of service and yeah if you haven't watched the first video make sure you go back to it please comment if you watch this video and even if you know what so you don't just comment anything even a nice video or like yeah because like as we said in our previous video many people tell us like whether it be personally, you know, online or, you know, through WhatsApp or whatever, you know, tell us and we'll just say, you know, it'd be nice to just put it on the video so we can look back and we can see, like, what that comment was supposed to say. Sorry for the indirects, but... It's not indirect, it's just saying, like, we're not, we're not like, forcing people to say stuff, yeah. but it'd be nice to just see those comments We just want to see, video. basically, the reason why we're saying it, we're not really begging it, it's just, like, we just want to have feedback on like future videos and things yeah, like that. Yeah, so we can look back yeah. at it and, and yeah. Anyways, thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.